Good morning, everyone. Um, hope everyone is having a good day. Um, the news that I currently received today, um, quietly, is not really an important news, but um, we had it from the reliable source that currently the People Democratic Party Atiku is on vacation. And um, the smoke spoke passing from PDP said Atiku is 100% fit according to the information that we receive. And the principals wasn't sick according to what is said that he has been flus, uh, have been flows abroad for medical treatment. Yes, Atiku is an uh, is an old man. Uh, Yes, he's entitled to go and do uh, his medical check. And he's also entitled to, to go and see his doctor. Um, it's not by constitutions, but it's just if he has been doing a lot of engagements uh, for quite some weeks at the moment. So, if, oh, of course, you expect Atiku to uh, go and do the medical checkup. But one of the questions I always continue to ask myself uh, based on this information is why is it that uh, none of these current uh, PDP as well as APC presidential aspirants, why is it that they don't have any confidence in the medical practitioners or the medical professions in Nigerians? Why can they have Nigerians professional doctors in Nigerians that can look after their health, diagnose anything they are currently going on, as well as treating them? Why can't they have that kind of medical facility that they can attend in Nigerian? And these are one of the questions that sometimes uh, it bothers me and sometimes it bothers a lot of Nigerians, as I believe. Uh, we know that the principal, according to what they said, is that uh, it's on vacations and it's, the principal is in health and healthy. Uh, definitely, uh, I wish him to be in health and healthy uh, because he's also campaigning to become Nigerian president. Uh, by the end of next month, uh, we will definitely know. But uh, my quick question I always say is that, uh, um, is that the kind of precedent that we are trying to uh, have in Nigerians, where all their medical uh, record is in abroad, and Nigerians, rec their own record, not they are not in Nigerians. Why can't they have a record, a medical record in Nigerians? So if they become a precedent, then one of the key questions that I need to be asked regularly is, is that means that when they are sick, um, they are going to travel abroad to go and see their doctor. Or does that mean that uh, um, they will not have that time to develop a solid medical uh, institutions in Nigeria, just like what Buhari did, and uh, because Buhari did not actually fulfill any medicals um, uh, develop more, developing more hospitals in Nigeria as well have uh, enabled him to better some of his, uh, avoid some of the travels that he has been doing and also enable him to uh, stay focused and allow Nigerians to have a very, uh, a very good medical health facility in Nigerians. So this is a very big concern uh, for all Nigerians and it's also a very big concern uh, for all of this, uh, the um, diasporas people currently looking at Nigerians' health system at this moment. Um, we know that if articles, medicals, uh, or doctors in abroad, does that mean that if you become a president, it will be using Nigerians' resources to travel abroad to treat himself and his families and his cohort and all are all all a lot of their members why nigerians health system will continue to suffer uh, in a very de de 
dilapidated situation that we are currently having at the moment. So, so these are the kind of questions we need to ask Atiku, especially when the time for uh, presidential debate, uh, especially in, re in, in relationship that are relating to health care. Um, because um, if he believe in Nigerians' health facilities, I don't think he will have to travel abroad or go to Dubai or go to any part of London to have his medical checkup. As well as even uh, Buhari. Uh, Buhari, if he has developed a very proper health sy system in Nigerians, he should be able to have Nigerian doctors that can look after him, that can treat him very well, and uh, as well as allow Nigerians to also enjoy the same facilities. Uh, you never see any uh, foreign president coming to Nigerians for a treatment, except if it is a treatment that cannot be operated successfully in Nigerians. So, uh, we have to ask to continue to ask that question. Uh, why all this presidential experience, especially um, Tinumbu have done it before, Atiku have done it before, but Peter Obit, uh, one thing I heard that uh, his doctor is in Nigerians, he also has doctors abroad, so we haven't heard about him going to abroad for a medical checkup. So these are one of the questions we need to ask ourselves. But um, the, um, the APC um, said that the man was on vacation, that anyone who knows him uh, can tell that this man does not joke about his vacations. And he also went to Dubai uh, for where he will be leaving for London on Monday. Then he will arrive in Dubai. And first person to spoke to was in, was in Turkey at the same time. And that's what they said. And how can a man that is healed and healthy uh, be flown out? So, but that is the rumors that currently surface. But according to uh, some of these spokesmen, like uh, Dino Malaye, uh, presidential, uh, one of the spokespersons said Nigerians uh, need to ignore that news that the pervertors and unrepentant liars. So that's what uh, Dino Malaya said. And um, that is what that is regarding the lies of unrepentant lies. Atiku is unrepresent fit and in super forms. Uh, at wise, the British government uh, invited the leading presidential candidate Atiku just like they did have invited Bola Tinubu and Peter Obi. But um, uh, Femi Kayode uh, uh, has also came out from the spokesperson from uh, AP. PDP, uh, APC, sorry, that uh, Tiku is sick in London for treatment. Uh, that is what uh, Femi Kayode said. Um, according to what Femi Kayode, the director of special project and new media uh, for uh, Tinumbu Shetima presidential campaign cancelled, uh, she Femi, Femi Kayode have claimed that the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party Atiku is sick and is currently in London for treatment. Uh, but uh, he, he tweeted there that yet again he uh, privatized everything uh, for dangerously sick and ran to Dubai for a stick up, stick it up procedures. Watch how he works and you will see and you will know what is going on. Then he's on his way to UK to beg British MP for their support. Must he bend the news for British too? Truly shameful. That's what uh, uh, Femi Kayode tweeted. Uh, he also called it disgraceful. Uh, what is called the lies of unrepentance. That's what uh, the PDP said. So Atiku is currently in London on invitation of government of United States. Uh, yes, if the United States people ask him for invitations, um, I definitely Atiku can attend and also if Atiku want to see his doctor he has the right to do that but one of the questions that people always come in that uh, especially the health care that this uh, previous uh, presidential uh, vice president did not provide for Nigerians when they are in the position of power uh, that British uh, 
that they, when they are in the power, uh, they do not actually recognize Nigerians' uh, health care system, and they don't actually provide the necessary funding that we uh, make a lot of these health uh, facilities uh, 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 fully funded and also uh, fully funded with all necessary equipment and so that all Nigerians can benefit uh, from these health facilities. So these are the things that I haven't done in the past and these are the things that every voter needs to look into uh, because uh, your social care, your health is your wealth. So Nigerians need to think twicely to vote any presidential aspirants that have health care uh, uh, doctors abroad. Uh, they should resist that because uh, definitely shows that it and they don't actually trust Nigerian doctors and uh, they prefer to go to abroad for any medical checkup. So this is one of the things Nigeria need to watch out for when it comes to uh, voting next month. Uh, and the question they need to ask uh, each one of these candidates is how are they going to develop and they develop an international health center across all states in Nigeria. Uh, how are they going to achieve that? Because if every Nigerian is having a very sufficient health uh, center in Nigeria, uh, you can see that the life of every Nigerian will improve. And also a lot of Nigerians that is even in abroad, we able to come to Nigeria uh, to do a lot of their uh, else check up as well. So, but these are the facility that is completely lacking in investment. So, and I hope that uh, the new government that is coming up should make sure that at least every the health systems in Nigeria improve, standardize, and uh, making sure that enough in a lot of investment are coming into the health se se sectors so that Nigerians can also contribute to their own quota through tax and so that every Nigerian should also benefit uh, from the health facilities that is provided. So this is one of the things that's currently going on and this is one of the things I'm not really happy about, especially uh, when it comes to the two uh, ruling parties, which is uh, a PDP, uh, Tiku, as well as uh, APC, Tinumbu. Um, we had that both of them has their doctors abroad. Uh, so the other candidates, especially, they have their doctors in Nigerians. But I don't know of Kwankoso, um, because I don't know whether Kwankoso also travel abroad uh, for medical checkup as well. But um, this is what is currently going on, and this is what Nigerians should pay attention to. And uh, then I will look forward to speak to you guys later. So you guys have a good, a good day, and uh, I will look forward to speak to you later. Bye for now and stay blessed. Bye.